and Master Keith system. This episode today is Stop, Think, Breathe. So next week I'm going to be doing a passion panel for some high schoolers and one of the questions they had asked was, what's some advice you can give to your 15-year-old self? I thought of a few things and I kind of let it marinate and I was like, what's, what's something good? And there was a couple things that came to mind. Uh, one of them was, uh, keep doing what you're doing. Um, I don't like uh, doing a lot of things and thinking to myself like, oh, that was a waste of my time or, oh, I can't believe I did that and all these conflicting thoughts about my past. And I said, you know what? Keep doing what you're doing. But I thought of one that was a little more important that kind of connected to me uh, when I was 15, uh, 16 years old. When I was in high school, um, I stressed myself out a lot uh, from putting a lot of pressure on myself in summary. And one of the practices I do today that has helped me a lot is the stop, think, and breathe method. So in my high school journey, this stress actually peaked when I had Bell's palsy to the left side of my face and I was paralyzed left side of my face, couldn't use it. Um, I was the lead of my school play, one of the leads in my school play at the time, and I had to do the play with half a face which worked pretty well because I was the villain. So everyone uh, actually <laughs> said, wow, that was a great job. That villain did really well only using half his face the whole time. So stop, think, and breathe. So this is a method that I use today that I wish I had used back then. So it's pretty much a combination of all three needing to be used at the same time. So if, if you ever feel like it's something is, you know, your conflicting thoughts have peaked or things are going on that you you feel like you're overwhelmed with a million different things uh, stop think and breathe so the, the stop method is just you know we all have 24 hours in our day there's there's got to be a way to squeeze in 30 seconds to two minutes of doing absolutely nothing you know this plays into the benefits of meditation and why people should meditate every day but going off of just the simple aspect of 30 seconds two minutes a day um just take a moment to stop. Think about what's going on. Maybe there's four or five different things that are conflicting thoughts that are going on in your head. Maybe write them down. Maybe maybe just ask yourself a couple questions on one of them and say, you know, why am I worried about this? What can I do to solve this? What can I do now to solve this? Sometimes we get so caught up in doing all these things for our futures or our current lifestyle that we get caught up in just all this pressure that we sometimes don't even do it and then it just keeps building in our heads like oh I gotta do this I gotta do this I gotta do this so one of the biggest parts of the thinking process should be asking yourself what can I do now like is there anything that I could do right now what's the bare minimum I could do whether it's working on something like a project or um, working on your health or working on a goal or homework or, or whatever it may be there's always something you could be doing right now um, sometimes it might not be easy and guess what one of the things you could think about if you don't know what to do is let me find out what to do we have a wealth of resources at our disposal now between internet YouTube just internet YouTube are two big things but even just asking people and look and reaching out to people um, that you might know or communities that are looking for people um, to kind of just gather and talk about different issues there's always resources available so the thinking part should be something that kind of brings the bigger picture into a smaller picture for yourself. So you're really thinking about what can I do now? Is this worth stressing about? You know, and for me, like that, that would have been important back then. But if I was told, you know, if you stress out a lot, you're going to paralyze half your face. Now, I doubt that anyone would have said that. No one's ever said that in my life. But now I have actual proof, uh, at least for me genetically and, you know, my family to be like, hey, you stress out. This could potentially happen to you. Um, stop think about what's going on and really put it into perspective for yourself and then breathe we really underestimate breathing like we underestimate sitting down maybe just like taking a deep breath holding it in for like 30 seconds and then taking a deep breath out breathing in breathing out sometimes it's hard sometimes there's so many thoughts that we can't even focus on breathing we're so clouded that we can't even focus on that but that is the one thing that you should embrace because you have control of that. There's gonna be a million things going on in your life that you might not have control of. You have control of your breathing. And having control of your breathing is having control 
And then you could build from there. What other things can I control? What other things can I do? And sometimes you might end it by saying, like, why was I worried about all this? You know, why, why was I stressing myself out about this little thing? Like, it really doesn't matter. Or, you know, I'm doing my best to do this right now. Why is there pressure, you know? And having someone that could have told me that back then would have been great. But looking back on it now, you know, I probably could have had those resources if I had them available, such as like, you know, like a, like a mentor or someone that just wants to, to hear you or listen to you. And, and, and as a high schooler, I didn't want to talk about my problems. I didn't want to talk about what was stressing me out. Uh, I liked, I liked keeping it all to myself and not letting everyone know what was going on in my life. So when you have resources available, it's definitely good to utilize them. Uh, friends, family, teachers, mentors, like sometimes it's hard just to tell someone, hi, I'm looking for someone to help me. Like in life, in whatever it may be, I'm just looking for someone to help me. Nobody wants to say that because in, in our minds, when we say that we're admitting some type of weakness that we can't go on unless we, unless we receive that help or we get help from somewhere or something, uh, especially if it's a person because we're afraid of being judged. But that's moving past the actual exercise. But for now, stop, think, breathe. There's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of things that you can control. And when you have that control, that's when your breathing becomes easier. So to my 15 year old self and to anyone out there, 15 older, that's going through a lot of problems, stop, think and breathe. And then as a little bonus at the end, use your resources. There's always people out there that are willing to help you. If you liked what you heard or you think that someone else can benefit from this, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I love responding to people who are inspired and who want to talk about things that are going on. And if you ever want to reach out to me, feel free to email me as well. And hopefully I'll be posting a lot more episodes. So feel free to stay tuned. Thank you.